I'm pissed off thinking about dropping out food. Me and Doug dropped the op in a pop hoo. Me and Chop arguing about the chop. Hmm. Blood, I know you meant to say bop, but it's all love. I got my brothers in the WAP and they all blood. Touch my blood, we make sure you see your own blood. We been getting money all month, we ain't bone thug. We been getting money all year, this the second month. I'm with my gang. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Introduce yourself. Um, I'm DJ Killer Squid. Detroit. You know, I live in the birds right now because I want to stay away from niggas. All right, all right. Uh, and I DJ. I'm a collector with shoes. I've been collecting since probably like 2012 because that's when I finally got my first real job. Um, and I like clothes too. I like clothes too, and I like cars. I had a 1990 BMW E30. Yep. That bitch go. That bitch sweet. It's slow as fuck, but it's, it's a nice car. Well, they gonna see it. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna ask you your top five favorite shoes, and why you picked those favorite shoes, and explain if they have any. You know what I'm saying? Like why why they're your favorite shoes. Let's start with number one. It doesn't have to go in order either. All right, all right, good. Cause I'm like, these did a Grateful Dead's. Um, these were not on sneakers. These, these and the orange pair were not on sneakers at all. Uh, I got lucky off these because I got off a of raffle from Premier Skate. I think that's the name of it. Skate is it Premier Skate or just Premier? I think it's just Premier. Yeah, and that's Grand Rapids, in, right? yeah, that's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I I didn't believe it. I was actually in LA at the time and I damn near almost missed the deadline. I think you get like two hours to check out. And I had checked my email and it wasn't in my spam, it was just in my email. And I was like, holy shit. The same day I hit, I think it was the same day as the next day. I think the off white fours came out and I hit on those on my mom's secret account. But yeah, that's. So my, do. This is like one of my pride and joys. I still have yet to un DS at all. I think that's my favorite off the pack. Man, so. yeah. The, Even yeah. the orange ones, they were sweet. The but. orange ones were sweet, but I, I felt with the yellow ones more. I like the orange ones. Because so they pop, bro. They, they pop for real, for real. So. All right, number two. What we got? All right, nigga. I got a story for these. <laughs> Joe Fresh Good. These are the 992s. Uh, New Balances. Man. It was All-Star Weekend. Niggas was not fucking going. They, it was cold. It was cold as fuck in, in Chicago. I'm talking about freezing fucking cold. Literally freezing. It was. I think it was below zero at that time. And you know, I had to finesse these. I fuck with Joe Heavy, but I had to finesse these because, you know, when it comes to camping, niggas, you actually have to stay outside. Nigga, you know? every, time, every time we camp, we, we, we <laughs> post up in the car, we, chair, put, we put our chair. chair. Exactly. Yeah. Niggas, so we had a rental car. I went with like five niggas. Five, it was, maybe it was like five to eight niggas. We all stayed at the Airbnb. Uh, we stayed at Airbnb. I was the only one, the only one that was willing to fucking go and get these shoes, bro. Everybody else was like, we just gonna fuck around and do raffles, and that's how we gonna get shoes. We not doing that camping shit. too fucking cold, which I understand. But me, I'm a big fan of Joe Fresh because he's for the people. He is literally, Fresh. bro, he's literally like one of the biggest influences in my life as far as like black people for sure hundred percent hundred percent like he's a family man I met him uh, it was not all-star weekend it was complex con in Chicago I met him I think a year before then first time the nigga was like he's literally a dad bro they gave me a kiss on the cheek it was like, hey. <laughs> it was like you're a dad bro I love that but um so all-star weekend I'm like, bro, it's cold. Now, before the day before these dropped, it was at night. I, he invited me um, through Instagram to go to his like panel. That it was, it wasn't really a panel, but it was like his panel. It was at his show. I mean, at, not at his show, but at his store that these were gonna release at. And he had like a few people. Uh, Clark Kent was speaking. That nigga's a legend. You know who Clark Kent is? Yeah. Look him up. Clark Kent spoke. 
and it was just a bunch of Chicago people. I saw um, Fake Short Drive. Fake Short Drive. Yes, yeah, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew yeah, yeah, from yeah, Fake Short yeah, yeah. Drive, he pulled up. There was a few people that pulled up, and it was really sweet. So I got to see him talking stuff like that. But that wasn't going to secure me a shoe. So I was like, <laughs> everybody else, next morning, bro, I had put my chair out that night. So I, I took an Uber back and had my man's Cam take me back up there with a chair. And I put a chair up there. I went back home. I said, look, I'm going to figure out if I'm going to wake up and do this or not. My man's Rome that works with me. Uh, That's he, my team lead. Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's crazy. That's my man's child, Rome. Yeah. He had picked me up because he, he was there for All Star Weekend, so he was with his best friend. And he was like, I really want these. I was like, nigga, I want these too. So he pulled up on me. We went there at like 9 in the morning. The shoes didn't drop till 12. Cold as fuck. Luckily, niggas was not on tip. I love Chicago for that very reason. Um... <laughs> Niggas wasn't on tip, they let me get back in my spot, and we just stood there. It was fucking freezing. It was cold as fuck. I stood in line for about, even after the shoes dropped, I stood in line for a good five or six hours. I got some good ass luck and got it on my side because that same, and that standing in that line, I they did a reservations for the off-white fives, the black ones. And, you got that and I hit on those, in line. Literally, probably 30 minutes before I had to go in and get my shoe. Uh, these was expensive, but I they I would 100% pay that price than to pay that resale price, and that's how I got these shoes. This is like one of the biggest shoes that I camped out for, besides the Purple Lobsters for sure. I, remember, I think I almost got a fight for the Purple Lobsters. Niggas was mad. But, <laughs> I wasn't at that. I wasn't at that. Camp. But this this is one of them shoes that I I I can honestly say I grinded for this shoe. Yeah, them, them hard. If I had to pick out of the ones you pick, I'm going with that one. I ain't gonna lie. You saw, uh, mm. These bitches are cozy. They're, okay. this, bro, literally. And the, the, like, the, the material is so delicate, but like these came with like three or four, I think, laces. And I just fuck with Joe Fresh in general. Like that, I, that nigga makes some really cool shit. He's a really good guy. Yeah. So I want to like work with him and be in like one of his uh, lookbooks or some shit one day. Yeah, right. that's my. That's my. What's number two? Yes, yeah, that's, that's number two. That's what you about to do for number three? I'm going to do these number three. Okay. Um, I lied because this... It wasn't recorded at all. Huh? No, 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 I'm saying. Because I said if I had to pick out of the ones you pick, I would pick the Joes. But that shoe right there in your hand? It's the... It's the... It, 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 oh, oh, bro. These are the shattered backboards. I think I hit you up about these. Yep, you hit me up like, hey, should I get these? They look fake. I'm like, no, they good. I had my pair at the time. No, I didn't have my pair at the time. I already sold them. Somebody had a pair. I think that somebody was able to like compare it to. I was afraid because, you know, especially working where we work, you see these a lot. And, like, this one shoe will be straight. The other shoe will be faded a little bit. And so I was a little worried about it, especially because the material was a little bit different. But, like... The leather on these, it I think these is the hard like it's probably easy to the eye to fake these shoes, but it's the hardest thing to fake them because of the material. Like the material too clean it's that on them. Leather, bitches. bro, like this leather is so soft and like I got these. Don't crucify me. I know these real, so don't play them. I got these <laughs> off the of eBay. I got them off eBay. These wasn't even my size. It's a size too big. Not even a whole size. It's a half size too big. I put my orthotics in these hoes. <laughs> I put my orthotics in these. To make them fit, but they fit, and these is literally I don't wear them that much because I don't want to fuck them up. I'm one of those people like I try to clean my shoes out there everywhere. Some of them I don't because it's just like I get too lazy. But I I make either Cam is cleaning my shoes because that nigga is sweet at it, or Marcus, my man Marcus, uh, Marcus, what's his name on there? It's like Marky World. He does something with like I think it's called Goodfellas Cleaning or something like that. He's clean shoes, so I had him cleaning my shoes because Cam is a Cam's doing a little bit, a lot of more stuff now, so. But, so good. I'm going to shout him out on the video. <laughs> so so good. I'll be letting him clean my shoes and shit like that. But these, this is a grail. I like these more than I like the frags. I don't care what nobody say. 100%. I'm picking these over the fragments. Only thing with the fragments, bro, is that fucking little, the little bolt. That's what Fuck I'm that. saying. Fuck these, it. right here, this material and shit, and like the fact of like the story behind it is just like, it's fire. Yeah. And then I got these, too. Hold on, yeah, bring them to the camera so you know what I'm saying. You, you can know? tell the difference, young. You know what I'm saying. These are, this is the satin, bitch. Come down. You know what I'm saying. It's the satin, and this is you know what I'm saying. It's the other. Yeah, it's the OG. It's the bread and butter, baby. It's bread, bread and butter. <laughs> it's the bread and butter. Um, so I don't remember how I got these. I got these off of eBay too. Or 
How much did you pay for them? Bitches? I don't know which one I got them off of. Um, I got these. It's funny because I was on tour and I got I got these delivered to my house and they got stolen. I remember that. Love and then me. I hit up eBay. It took it took fucking forever to get that shit like fixed and worked out. And ended up buying the same the same pair. I think I paid like two fifty for these. They need to get cleaned though, and I'm scared to get them clean because this material. I'm scared of that. So that's my story with these. My next shoe right here are going to be the band ones. I think these dropped what two or three years ago. Sixteen. 2016. Yeah. The material is fucking fire. It's, there's still no shoe, in my opinion. No Jordan 1. The closest, I don't care what. Bro, are they the bread toes? Are they the bread toes? <laughs> yeah. The bread toes? I think, to be honest with y'all, the bread toes is the closest material is that's going to come to the Shattered Backboards. But, okay. honestly, like, it's so, even the GS pair is just, like, fucking crazy. But, um, I got the bands. I stroke, I, I stroke. I struck out. <laughs> I struck. I struck out. <laughs> I struck out. <laughs> go ahead. I struck out <laughs> on all the sites for these bitches. Had to go through a third party and get these bitches. I paid like three. I paid three hundred for these. Yeah, this this wasn't bad. Only the only shit, the only pair that I actually paid resale is these three, I think. And then, but I think I paid like four for these or five. It was one or the other. And then. It's no story behind these. It. Like I just pay retail. These right here are bases. Uh, this is literally one of my favorite shoes. Like bases, like they're crazy. Pharrell, Migo, all them niggas, Kanye, Wayne, they Soldier Boy niggas. Yeah, I'm about to say, how you about to name everybody Boy. besides Soldier? Soldier Boy, bro, like. These niggas are the epit like they're like the epitome of this. Like this, this is my childhood, my nostalgia, all in one picture. Well, one shoe for real, for real. Um, I got these off of a. I, I really paid retail for these shoes, but they came from overseas. They came from Japan, from somebody I can't. I'm not gonna disclose that information because that's my plug. But um, after we get off this, I'm gonna need that. I ain't gonna lie. I but go ahead. I got all the pairs. I got the, well, not all of them, but I have the blue ones, the purple ones, the red, and the camo ones. The, the regular camo ones. Uh, this, this is also a shoe that a Ma really wanted. This is like, out of all my shoes, I'm like, Squid, you got the blue ones. So <laughs> I, that's why I picked this one, RP Huey. But yeah, this was, this was my, this was one of my, for sure, one of my grails. And then I fuck with these two. These I'll are the, a lately made lady. sixes, literally one of my like one of my idols when it comes to this fashion shoe shit. Like she is the second woman in the world to have her own shoe. I have all her shoes, her ones. I got the first ones. It's so crazy. The first ones that I got were her. Uh, they were just literally the ones that were like satin. I paid two hundred dollars off eBay for those. It's the day they dropped. <laughs> they only they only was getting sold in L. A. Chicago and I think. Atlanta in New York or it was New York and not Atlanta and I literally was in LA for Camp Vlog no, and I was like bro I'm not gonna hit on this didn't hit on them and I bought them instantly I was scared they wasn't on shipping they shipped and they're, they're literally real and paid 200 now they worth for like a thousand dollars I said what so yeah. uh yeah you with that shit. so those are my my top five um, do I have any... Honorable mentions? Anything? Yeah, go ahead. Go, 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 go ahead. Let me, let me go. Let me go. God damn. So look. <laughs> Talk about a few. <laughs> these cactus these plants, hard as hell. Honorable mention. These right here, these are hard. I fucking love these. Not much of a story behind me. You said top five. She came top a hundred. Man, look. Travis got <laughs> one. I literally almost had a fucking panic attack. Let me tell you, bro. On the sneaker app, I'm literally trying. This is the most fluke shit I've ever seen on sneakers. I'm telling you, it's literally the shoes dropped at what, 11 o'clock? Is it 10 or 11? 10. They dropped at 10 o'clock? Bro, I'm trying till 10 30 to get these shoes. The whole app was Never fucking, seen man. anything crazy like this on a sneakers app ever in my life. I'm on Twitter, I follow a couple sneaker pages, and they're like, keep trying, keep trying. I'm starting to see like around t like 10, 20 people saying they got them, blah, blah, blah. I'm still trying. Somebody literally tweeted, log out, log back in. You know to never do that. You yeah. know to never Hell do that. Nah. 
You never do that. I lost, but I was like, you know what? Y'all yeah, I mean, get them or I'm not. I said, fuck it. I logged out. I logged back then. And normally when you log out, it will not let you log in because it's too busy. The servers are just fucking crazy. Logged in, and these bitches were still there. I, I got in line because it wouldn't even let you get in line. Got in line. Literally two seconds later, got them. I said, bitch! <laughs> and I got these. That's my crazy story behind it. These, y'all already know, these are OGs. This is... Best I, this short is, never. Bro, there's nothing, there's nothing more to say, nothing less to say. These are literally, by far... My favorite Jordan 4, for sure. That's like a retro, for sure. And then the NERD Dunks. I got these. I don't remember when I got these, but I got these from a third party. Had to get them legit checked because I'm like, bro, this is a steal. Um, but this is when Dunks weren't... Dunks have always been hype, and I hate when niggas be like, it's just hype because of Travis. I will say it has a hype grown, for sure. But dunks have always been a thing. Niggas have always loved dunks. This was a time where like dunks, niggas appreciated dunks, but niggas weren't going stupid. Like at this no. time, the only dunks that were going like for a lot of money were like the Piz Can Fly, the Skunks, shit like that. Like not even the Ferris Bueller's weren't even that much at that point. And I got these. I don't even remember how much I paid, but it was way it was less than five hundred dollars for sure. And these are numbered for sure. Okay, there you go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I knew they was real. I knew these was real, you know. Um, but yeah, this is my little collection that I, that I really like. I, I don't even wear these all the time. I mean, you can see the ones that I wear. Like, I wear these. I wear these from time to time. For sure, I've worn these. Um, but yeah, this is my little collection that I feel like are like my, my grills. I have other shoes that I'm like, they're up there, but I don't want to just give y'all a bunch of new shit, you know. Not too much new shit. It's only like two shoes out of all of these that are brand new. Well, three. These are probably the new wits. Because when did the breads come out? When did the bread force come out? The newest ones. I think November last year. Yeah. Or the year before. These are all, well, shit, maybe four. These are like these four are the, probably the newest. These came out a few years ago for sure. But yeah, that's my top five for sure. You got a message for the viewers? Wear your shoes. I'm wear your shoes, say. wear what you like, don't do shit for the height. If you're getting shit, don't get them just because the next nigga got them. Get them because you like them. Because I, I, I have a few shoes I know uh, everybody got, like the Bread 11s and shit like that. But like, there's, look at all these shoes that I know niggas don't have or don't even know how to pull out a basic fit for them. So get shit that you like, wear shit that you like, and just be yourself, bro. You don't even have to be into to Jordans, bro. Like, I just started getting into New Balances. Like, I have, like, four or five pair of New Balances now that I, I absolutely adore, which were really looked up, like looked down upon for real because they was, like, niggas looked at them like they were sketches and they not. <laughs> like, New Balances are really one of my favorite shoes, honestly, out of this whole thing. New Balances and Dunce are, like, my new thing that I really fucking love. So, yeah, bro, like, I don't care if you like Asics, whatever. If it's your shit, it's your shit. You know, you ain't got to have... The nicest shit or anything. If it's your shit, it's your shit. And wear it. Well, that's real. Well, thank you, Squid. I really appreciate you. It's my first time ever doing this shit. So, <laughs> good looking on that. And then, Check out my man's booming. Yes, sir. Sure. Boom, 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 booming. All right. He gonna end it there because she tweaking. <laughs> Stop fucking playing with these niggas, man. Yeah. I'm up for real. You ain't gotta rush this shit. Just be patient. Yeah, she gon' fuck me good, just don't say shit. Yeah, I'm out of you, fuck me, just don't say shit. Stop saying that we day and be patient.